Hello, guess where we are? <laughs> and guess who I'm with? We have got a boat on the Norfolk Broads this weekend and we are with our friends, the Torres. So it is Sergi's birthday. Hello! He's 40. Yeah, I look good for 40, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> so we've come away for the weekend. It's Friday today and the weather is glorious, but we've just looked on the weather app and um, we've got a yellow warning for thunderstorms tomorrow, which would be nice, but it's still going to be so nice. We've got away from Brighton for the weekend and we're just going to have loads of fun. We've got like so much food and drink, so we're going to be drinking and eating I am all weekend. Already. Yeah, we're already eating. For the boys, where are you planning on parking? That's their spot they're trying to get into. Who's gonna jump off? I will. That's okay. We like to live a feral life, don't we, Ross? Yeah. Yeah. No pressure. Nice job, nice job Serge. Oh, that was pressure then. <laughs> so we've just moored up. Look where we are. We've got such a nice windmill there. Got some little canoeists coming down. We've got Hello people! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> the kids are literally having the time of their life. Hi! Hi! You having fun? Yes. Is this good guys? Yes. Yeah? Oh, do you know what? This is just so nice. This is just like when we were mooring up, the people on the boats, like either side, were helping us come in because it's a little bit scary and obviously we literally had like a 20 minute demo before we got on the boat and then um, we were just given the boat to take out. We were told this is a £180,000 boat and we were given 20 minute demo. So anyway, we've come up to the top of the boat for some sundowners. Chris is on the buds. I've got a little bit of wine and sparkling water and we've also got some olives. Down there, there's a really, really lovely pub. So I think we're gonna head down there and maybe have a little drink, check it all out. <laughs> we're just on the way to the pub. This is such a cute little, is this a village? Lena calls a village a village. <laughs> village. She's Russian and in Russia you, no, oh, German. German. Yeah, in German, she's, in Russia. she's Russian slash German. Um, so in Germany, a V is pronounced a, a W. What? What? So she calls a village a village. And I work in your one doing phonics. <laughs> <laughs> but she's at very good at every other letter apart from the VW. Village. <laughs> and every time she says, so when we go to the village, <laughs> I have to correct her. So yeah, she just said it now and I, I found it very funny, so I had to vlog it. The so kids have just said they're having the best time ever. I just thought I haven't done a boat tour for you yet so I wanted to do it now before um, we all sleep in our beds tonight and then it's like a massive mess. It is a bit of a mess at the moment anyway but it's not as much of a mess as it would be if I did this tour tomorrow. So I'm going to turn the camera around and then just show you the boat. So I'm at the very back of the boat at the moment and I'm just going to walk you through from the back all the way to the front and talk you through where everything is and what we've got. Okay so this is the back door. Hello Roz. Hello. This is actually where Chris and I are going to sleep tonight. So this bedroom, even though it looks like you just go straight into the um, boat, it actually has a door here. So you can close that door and then you've got a bedroom here with a little ensuite. It's got a shower in here too. Back out here. Hello Lunakins. Hello. Back out here we have got another bathroom 
in this bit. This hasn't got a shower, it's just a toilet. And then through here we've got a double bedroom. This boat can sleep eight to 10 people. So we've got four double bedrooms and then I'll show you the front so if you can get made up into a bedroom as well. So this is two single beds in here. This is our kitchen. So you walk through from those two bedrooms that I showed you. And this is the kitchen. It's a really nice modern kitchen. You have, well, this is actually all our stuff here. But when you come on board the boat, you get some, um, cloths you get some washing up liquid and bits and bobs like this we actually brought these bits ourselves we brought the dishmatic um which is really useful so i definitely bring like a couple of bits yourself as well you have um a four burner hob a oven and then you also have some cupboards here that have got some extra bits in here like pots and pans in that one and then in this one here you have got all your plates and things and you've also got some cutlery and bits and bobs in here you have got some knives as well but they are not sharp just so you know really not sharp so it's very hard to cut things with this but i guess they can't give you sharp knives on here anyway um in here we have got a double bedroom and then this i can't find the light switches for these bedrooms so i can't turn the lights on but in here it goes through to a little jack and jill bathroom but it's also a little shower wet room as well which then leads through to another oh my gosh luna you're everywhere this again leads through to another double bedroom here um, which then leads out to the kitchen area here and then to the lounge so like i said this area here also can be made up into another double bed but yeah this is our living area and then if i come up here we have got our upper deck seating and driving area so you can drive the boat from up here or you can drive it from down below like i just showed you but this is great to sit here when the weather is nice but i'm just going to show you this view one more time oh my gosh that's just beautiful good morning guys it is saturday morning and we've just had our first night on the boat so there's eight of us on the boat and where we've moored up is this little village in norfolk i've forgotten what it's called actually um but it's lovely i'll write on the screen what it's called um but we've made a pack that if anyone needs like the toilet toilet we go in the public toilets that are out here apart from the kids obviously did you uh go to the toilet <laughs> one a day <laughs> one a day like clockwork so anyway the boys got up this morning came came to the public toilets which are actually just back here um but we've just come now to the little shop because we've had so many ducks outside the boat and the kids have given all our bread to the ducks so we need to come and buy some more so we've come over here how are you sergi hello how morning. was your first night on the boat yeah, really good really yeah. good the beds are so comfortable Slip -like a bed. so anyway we are we've had our breakfast now the kids have had their yeah. breakfast we fed the ducks a bit more and we're gonna then head off on our boat trip the boys have kind of looked at the map this morning and planned where we're going to go because we've got quite a big boat we can't go under two bridges on the broads so we wanted to go to this little um beach where there's seals but we can't go there because we have to go underneath the bridge that we can't fit under so we're going to go somewhere else today so yeah just going to take you with us and um show you a little bit of our boating holiday and i hope you enjoy it made Chris. friends with these ducks oh I know. Um, yeah come outside You've named them all, haven't you, Joe? Yeah. This one, that one, is following me. Yeah, that's who's called Swansea? Swansea. That's called Neon. Neon. That's called um, Nip Junior. That one's called Coco. Coco. The boys have been really worrying about how we're going to get out of our parking reckon, space. Reckon, um, They've literally been discussing it all morning whether they I, should. Um, try and turn around, whether they should reverse out or whether they should go all the way in, try and turn around. It's been quite funny listening to them actually. Are you proud of the way you just navigated yourself out of there? You could have done without me without my bone thruster movement. So I'm not sure you could have done it without me, Serge. No problem, mate. Serge? <laughs> we had a team. Have you ever driven a boat before? Uh, you were actually really cool. good. Thank you. You parked us really well last night. It's about to crash, Carrie, so... Um, oh, uh, a, no, that boat's going way too fast for us to catch up to it. No, I, I think okay. Serge is a captain. Go this way. Yeah. It's probably the curly hair that makes you so good at it, isn't it? I need a hat, Kevin. <laughs> he needs a hat. 
<laughs> I love the way everyone on the boat just waves at each other. Every time you go past anyone, we just wave. Morning or afternoon or evening. Um, Chris actually used to have a sailor's hat. I think it was like a dressing up thing one day when he went on a stag do. He was trying to find it before we came here, but he couldn't, so he's absolutely gutted and he actually was thinking of, um, of buying a new one. But we're off. Look, the swans are following you guys. They don't want you to go. They're saying, don't go, we like your bread. <laughs> that is so cute. I'm actually impressed with our skills. I'm impressed. Yeah. Once that big boat was gone, it would be a lot easier. Okay. Yeah, it was easier, but you know the interesting fact I learned with this? You can drink as much alcohol as you want and you can still drive this. Apparently, in the rule books, it's not illegal to do it. It's not illegal. What, to drink as in the rain? As long as you're not really drunk, and it's not illegal. As long as you're not really drunk, so let me know if I drink too okay. many. I did not know you could drink and drive this thing. Yeah, you're allowed to, apparently. <laughs> Enjoying yourself, Ro? Is this good? Yeah. Who's, what's happening tomorrow, Ro? Birthday. What? Birthday. It's your birthday? How old are you going to be? Birthday. What? Eleven. Huh? What accent is that? I don't know. <laughs> Rory's going to be eleven tomorrow. <laughs> what happened to Lena's sunglasses yesterday? Uh, that I accidentally hit them into the water. You accidentally hit them into the water? <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. It's not very good, is it? Lena is the washer-upper, but now she's also the deck cleaner too. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> it looks quite fun being the deck cleaner. <laughs> fantastic job, Lena. That's quite therapeutic to watch, actually. <laughs> I mean, I want to it. Good job, Serge. some water now. Chris doesn't let us shower or wash up very well because um, he's worried we'll run the water out. Can we just use water no. you shout at Every time we use water no, you shout at us. When you have a shower, no, no, no. it uses all the battery. All no, no, no. oh, right. glass of red wine and I have just put some pizzas in the oven for the kids. This oven that comes on the boat is so good. So they've got pizza, got two pizzas and a garlic bread in there. And then what Lena and I did, when we were trying to think about what meals to bring with us, we thought we'd just order a Hello Fresh box. So we did that. So tonight we have got beef teriyaki to cook for dinner. This is where we have moored up. Just have a look at this place. It just looks so so beautiful oh, honestly it is so tranquil out here it is just absolutely beautiful rory what's happening tomorrow um, birthday. your birthday come here come and say good night to these guys because this is the last time 10 year old rory is going to talk to you what's your final out outing as a 10 year old What wise words have you got for us? Nothing. Okay, 
Right, Rory's full of wise words. Oh, actually, what was the thing we did today? We said we're going to give you what? Oh, yeah, about the, the sketches. Yeah. So basically, if I, throughout the year of me being 11, if I get any cuts or anything. Rory's the most, um, he's like a bull in a china shop. He has no fear. He just goes a million miles an hour. So we've said. If I go throughout the whole year without having any cuts or anything, I get a hundred pounds. Every time I get a cut, I lose a pound. Yeah. So he starts with a hundred pounds. Every time he does something to injure himself, he loses a pound. So <laughs> we'll let you know when it's coming up to his 12th birthday, how much money he's got left. Maybe I should tell him actually that once he gets below the zero, he has to start paying us. Um, I just basically want him to realise the dangers in life because he really doesn't. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for tonight. I'll leave you with this absolutely stunning view. Look how still that water is. It's the birthday boy. Hello. Hello, birthday boy. You're 11 years old today. Happy birthday to you. Happy Never birthday to you. Oh, there it is. <laughs> What's, it What's the clue say? Pot. I'm cooking in very hot. What normally cooks? This. Mm, something else normally cooks. Oh, the this. oven. The oven. Oh, you're real. <gasps> oh, another present. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm watching TV. <gasps> I'm watching TV. The fridgings. Last one. Yep. This is your main present. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you will need it? that this year. Yeah, you will need that this year. Sad and then you've got some other little bits from other Who people. Wow! <gasps> <laughs> yeah. That's a good advert. It's it's a good it. advert. When it comes to birthdays, you should use it. Right, should we. Uh, <laughs> should I have a bridge from? Maybe <laughs> seven today, Ross. Oh, oh, oh wow! wow. So it's Rory's birthday today and again it's meant to be like thunder and lightning all day but we've got a nice big ball of sun in the sky. Um, so we're setting off, we're going to Roxham today aren't we? We're going to head to Roxham. Head to Roxham because when we drove here, we went through Roxham and it looked like a really lovely town. It had fish and chip shops there. The whole time we've been here, we have not had a single ice cream. And usually it's like Saturday ice cream night. And last night we were devastated, we couldn't find anywhere. Usually there's like a little boat that drives along and it's an ice cream boat. And then you just buy your ice creams from the boat so you can stay on board. But he hasn't come past us, so we don't know why but we haven't had an ice cream so anyway Rory is the skipper today because it's his birthday and we're just gonna go off to Roxham and have a little walk around get a coffee and an ice cream there and have a fun day for Rosie's birthday Rory wondered if he could be a rascal model turn around Ros let's have a quick look at your tracksuit nice this is the second time I've driven you and Serge love this it's a little bit boring I love it. It's actually more fun just sitting and watching. Oh, I'll, I'll quite happily take over. No, I'm actually enjoying it. Oh my goodness, I have got my swimming costume on. 
It is glorious weather. We had our lunch and then we all laid out on the kind of like bits here, had a little doze and a snooze. What, no, what is it called? Like the seating, seat, I don't know, seating of the decking, I'm not sure. And we all had a little snooze and the sun is just so, I cannot believe how the weatherman has got this so wrong, but we are so pleased he's got it so wrong because we expected the worst, but we have got, how good has this weather been, Serge? Oh, Even Serge said. Amazing. It's like being in Spain. Yeah. In Mallorca. <laughs> A the boys have decided actually that their new career in life, because they've enjoyed riding the, driving the boat so much, their new career in life is going to be um, in Mallorca, driving people on boats and then, so like, taking them around the island to different coves and stuff. I'll be the one who does the entertainment and does the drinking with them, except I am trying to drink non-alcoholic stuff at the moment, so purely for weight gain. <laughs> um, and then Lena's going to look after the kids. I think that's actually a very, very good idea. So anyway, we were meant to go to Roxham this morning, but then as the weather was so good, we just like moored up in the little um, kind of opening. But now we are off to Roxham because the kids haven't got off the boat since we left this morning at half past eight. So we want them to get off, have a run around and burn off some energy before we moor up again somewhere else. It's raining, but you know what? We're cozy and it's actually quite nice. Kids are having a little chill on devices. So I'm sitting down here. <laughs> this is where um, the bottom deck is, but the boys are still at the top deck because apparently, um, hello. hello. Apparently, if possible, they said always drive at the top. So I'll take you up to the boys. Hold on. <laughs> the rain stopped now. Oh, no, it's lovely. Oh my god, it rained for about four and a half oh, minutes. No, I'll take my jacket off now. Oh, look at this, guys. It stopped. This is the weirdest weekend of weather. I've just found this cute little place to moor up. It's got really, like, it's got a really nice open place for the kids to play, loads of trees to climb for the kids, too. And then, look. How pretty is this? So when you come on the broads, where we moored up last night was free, but here tonight it's £10. On the first night we had to pay £5 for mooring, so, but you can find loads of places where it's free. And then you can also just drop your anchor in the middle of the... What are these bits called? Mate, if you wanted to, you could stay for an hour, pay £2, and you just go and drop the anchor out there and pay nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's true, because it said £2 for an hour, £5 a half a day, or £10 for the night. Um, but okay. <laughs> earlier, when we went um, and had lunch, we just stopped in the middle. What are these bits called? Is that, what's the like big open spaces called? Uh, it's a, um, broad. Are broad they the broads? Yeah. So what are, the, what are the other bits like canal? I don't know. Jay, you want another one? Maybe they're called the broads. So you can just go and like drop your anchor there. That's what we did for lunchtime. It was lovely. And then your boat just kind of like floats around. Look what we've just found. This makes the mooring fee completely worth every single penny. So the boat's just down there. They've got this. This is literally Rory's best dream right here. How's your birthday going, Roz? Good? I just said to Rory in the, in the boat, I said, how's your birthday? He said, this is the best birthday ever. He's had so much fun. So when we went out for a, um, a drink to Roxham, we um, went to a little pub, it, the weather was beautiful, so we were sitting outside and all Rory wanted, I might have told us already today, but all Rory wanted for his birthday, usually he'd choose a bottle of Coke, but he wanted a coffee in bed and then we made him a coffee this morning, but it was hot and he said he didn't enjoy it that much, he didn't enjoy it as much as he thought he would, so Chris said maybe try a cold coffee, like an iced coffee, so when he went to the pub, he said could he have a coffee, so we got him a decaf, which doesn't know, but he got him a decaf iced coffee, and he loved it, so he's just had such a good day, and now we found this climbing wall, which is basically his dream come true, because all he wants to do in life is rock climb. Look at 
that sun, that is just so nice. Oh. It is so, so warm. Hey, Sergi. Oh, hello. I you've didn't got, know you were filming that. You've got the kids a movie on. Yes. What are they watching? They keep touching my laptop and I keep saying, guys, please do not touch. This is a very expensive <laughs> piece of equipment. <laughs> oh, you sound so old. Yes. <laughs> you are, he's 40. Yes. How nice is this evening? Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. No, look at that sunset. We have been so lucky with the weather. Yeah, I think I've actually so. said it about four times now since I've started making this vlog but literally we were expecting the worst weather this weekend weren't we i told them to bring their slippers they didn't know where we were coming by the way i probably told you that as well <laughs> i can't remember because i started this video like three days ago now they didn't know where we were coming what we were doing so i just said like pack your slippers and everything and they thought we were going camping but when we looked at the weather forecast it was just meant to be horrible but it's just beautiful so it's quarter to eight right now and we've just brought our drinks upstairs to the top balcony. Is this a balcony? Top platform? Terrace. Terrace of the boat. Chris has got his um, enormous zoom <laughs> lens. <laughs> but yeah, so I think I might actually end this vlog now, to be honest with you. I feel like we're going to go out on a high on this beautiful evening. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. We've had such a nice weekend. It's been a real treat. And it really feels like we've had a proper chilled holiday. I feel very, very chilled right now. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Say bye. <laughs> Say bye, well. Bye. <laughs> he's like a proper deckhand. Serge has really gone inside. I think he's worried about his computer. So I'll say goodbye from Sergi. Bye guys. Look at that romanticness. <laughs>